Welcome everyone to St. Louis, the championship game of the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament. With the defending champion, Bradley Braves in white. And that jam right there by the number seven seeded Parejo Crusaders and their freshman, Donovan Clay. We are just underway. The winner goes to the NCAA Tournament. Kevin Harlan with Dan Bonner. John Triffin is on our sideline, and here we go from St. Louis. Long three is down. Hit by Daryl Br That's great news for Bradley if he's going to be making threes. Malik McMillan with the miss. Bradley's got the ball. They are the four seed. They've won two straight and seven of nine. Spinner Childs inside. Got it to go. Well, they are 19 and 15. 500 in conference play. And Freeman Liberty inside. Uh, Captain will not go from Kaiser. Picked up by Freeman Liberty once, twice, a third time. To finally get into one of those guys who looks like he's wired to score he scored 29 points in their semifinal victory Kevin and he didn't make a three so he can get close to the goal and do some damage three canal Nate canal three-point shooter Dan in all of college basketball well you cannot give him room and he can shoot the three he can drive it to the basket there's McMillan that's his game not has won three in a row five of six and seven of nine no one expected them to be here but sure enough here they are in the title game freeman liberty three okay didn't make john kaiser who is a senior weaving through traffic and feeding inside and taken back with a nice steal by kingsby the bump in the freeman liberty who will pick up the foul just getting under him the winner moves on to the field of 63 and here we go <laughs> Rebounding foul called on the Zekas there, and that's one thing that, that Bradley wants to do every time is to set their man-to-man -man defense. They want to make Valpe play, make this a half-court game. Freeman Liberty scoops it up. Count it. That's a foul. This kid is a he was the number one high school player in the country out of Chicago. Went and played the line eye. Marcus Liberty is his uncle. And here is Javon Freeman Liberty, who is leading Valpo into the finals. Lowest seeded team to make in the Missouri Valley Conference Championship game. Championship game. Third year in the conference after leaving the Horizon League. Freeman Liberty. And the rebound inside by 6 11 Koch Bar. Great pass. It was indeed, and finished by on that most improved team in the Missouri Valley Conference. Bradley's not a team that looks to push it, but you give them opportunities like that, they'll take them all day long. Sicky with a three. Daniel Sacky driving his drive. He is their engine. In the corner. Three to five. The three no good. Barry will gobble it up. And a jump ball. They get tied up inside. It'll be Valper. But had they won their last regular season game, as we take a look at our State Farm on the floor, Valpo would have come into this tournament as the number three seed. That's how much balance wow. there is in this conference. And Bradley, longest winning streak during the regular season was just three. So what they've done is raise some eyebrows, go inside. And it's Kingsby putting it down. Gordon, he's got Kingsby in front of him. Kaiser. In the regular season, Valparaiso number six, tied for sixth in the Missouri Valley. Three, good. Gordon, this team in scoring three consecutive years. Canal will dance and drive. And it's picked up by Saki. What a great block out by Saki. Good heavens. Coast to coast. Well, up the court pretty fast, huh? You better believe it. Bradley has won five consecutive games in this tournament. First time they've done that in school history. Long three. Ten from out there. And if you've got to go out and guard him from three-point range, he can be much better getting to the back. Oh, what a beautiful move by freshman Donovan Clay. Four. He's from Alton, Illinois, about a 20-minute drive from here. Oh, Childs contorts and puts it through. John Kaiser's got the ball. Who's a former walk-on, takes it the other way. Kaiser, he'll unload a three. Beautiful arc. First basket of the game. 
in four days for Valparaiso. In gold, inside they go. It was Henry and Anish Pogo stick knocked away, and it's picked up by McMillan. And now Shecky. Boy, he can fly. Oh, and he does, and a whistle and a foul. They were going inside by 12 in February. They lost at Bradley by 11. So they've split one from Cameroon, setting a screen. Brown, fifth all-time leading scorer for the Bradley Browns. Three. One four in a row to win the championship. Here are the Crusaders since 2000. They've gone from the Mid-Continent Conference to the Horizon Conference and now to the Missouri Valley Conference. And they join this conference for days like today when they can go on national TV and be in a title game. Fazekas, three. Three-point field goal percentage of any player in college basketball. Mid-ranger right there for Elijah Childs. And one mid-major players in the country is Elijah Childs. He's out of Kansas City. There's a turnover. Long three. Oh, History, the one and two seeds, lost in the quarterfinal round. Northern Iowa and Loyola Chicago. These two teams survive. Shot clock at six. Here's Clay trying to survive inside and gets the deuce. Clay again for Offensive Player of the Year. Clay. Kaiser screens, switch on defense, looking for the cutting physicus. Kaiser three. Chung it inside. There have been times when the pressure has forced tough passes by Valpo, but that was a very easy pass and catch and shoot. Bradley at 11 conference wins this season, the most in about 15 years. Scoop feed inside, Henry gets it to go, but a creep from beyond the three-point arc, he's going to go right past you. The point. Two and a half and a half. McMillan, nice feed, fade away. That's put up and down. Kaiser, rebound by Malik McMillan. Freeman Liberty. Timeout taken. Back and forth. Valparaiso's on a nut. Palm out of his mom's basement. Oh, he, he is he is a guy that right now is maybe the most important guy in America. Yeah, he's <laughs> punching all those numbers. I know. He's got a lot in front of him. He'll be a busy man between now and we're, of course, only a week away from selection Sunday here on CBS. Final seconds, first half. That's a block on a physique strong shot. Picked up here. And at halftime, playing their fourth game in four days, the seventh seed Valparaiso Crusaders lead the defending tournament champion Bradley Braves by job in their man-to-man, -man, Kevin. They do an awful lot of switching and create some mismatches, but their big guys can handle. Play low, rebound by Childs. The Braves off to Elijah Childs, who missed a lot of the season. Rebound by McMillan. Good block out inside. I mean, we also haven't had a lot of offensive rebounds in this game, Kevin. That's a tough shot. Yeah. It was the degree of time 13 and 3. Holding on to a lead right now. The seventh seed. Darren Brown. What a nice jam by Henry, but the couple of seconds, Brown made him pay. Kaiser. McMillan a screen. McMillan inside off that block into Charles. Got his own miss. Fazekas is three. He has the highest Division I three-point percentage the last two seasons in college basketball. One of the best marksmen out there. Charles grinding inside. Coach was Bryce Drew. Here are the Crusaders. Point game. And again, Bradley playing a smaller lineup in hopes of matching up a little bit better. And they don't want to play small, do they? No, they have such they, a great size. They would prefer to have their big guys in the game, or at least one of them at a time. Quickie. See, 
and that's what happens cricketably inside. Kingsby with the ball right now from Milwaukee. They go down low to Henry from Saskatoon across the way with a fake knocked away by Clay. Henry couldn't find the handle out of bounds and off a of And the left hander is pretty clever around the basket, as we've mentioned. Sankey is in. Cricky with a screen. Cricky's got the ball. It's Cricky from Edmonton. And another one. into today. One time an 11 point win, the other time a 12 point win. They split. Oh, the crossover right there by Brown. Canal. Jay Sean Henry. <laughs> this team that's made it three today. Isn't that something? Kaiser off balance. Tough shot. Deshaun Henry's got the ball. He's got five rebounds. Leading scorer with the ball right now this season. Brown outside Canal three. Bradley now showing zone. They don't play a lot of zone. Freeman Liberty the shot clock at nine. The freshman plays on top. Freeman Liberty back to Clay. Moves on. Barr takes it in. And Crookie was fouled as he was going up. Conference tournament since Michigan in the Big Ten. One John Beeline was the Michigan coach back in that Kansas City area. Terrific play. Approaching 12 to play in the second half. Wow, little mismatch here, working on Kaiser. That was very well in motion, moving the ball, moving players, and against the zone, sometimes that motion stops. Brown is 5'10". Looking for Charles, who could not find the handle. McMillan picked it up, Sackey the other way with that speed, the floater, pick it. Doesn't matter whether you're playing man-to-man -man or just get it. Sackey, he goes again, yeah, he just he shoots into it. Foul. And it's on Shaki. <laughs> Earl Brown. It's the eighth turnover for Valpo. Germantown High School in Memphis. He tried to sneak one inside. He got it to Henry. But Fazekas was there. What a great recovery by Henry, though. The lights. Got great position inside. Canal right into Kaiser. Child's got it. Now it's Brown. against McMillan. Gordon came over to double. They go inside. Henry! Game. Three. It's off. Missed by Saki. Here goes Brown. He knows one gear. Wide open. Triple. Good. Kevin Allen puts it in. Team seed. Played Michigan State up in Des Moines. Approaching eight to play. And Bradley goes back to the man-to-man -man defense. Play. Knocked away and may have been Barr inside along with Childs. That's what Luke has done it recently. Our team's in. Michigan inside. Tricky. Double. Push back up. And off. As Freeman Liberty. Joining us late. Javon. He has not had that kind of imprint on the game here. This off about a mononucleosis, nucleosis, playing his fourth game in four days. He's got to be dragging a little bit. Cut out, end the tricky. Circles, leans. Val <laughs> Valco would be wise to push it when they get a rebound. So they can't get set up at the That's zone. correct. So they can't get set up in any defense. Please, please, no. no. That Kevin, they're settling suddenly for shots. Yes. They've got to take the ball and attack the basket. They have to push it in transition. Brandley has won seven of nine, two in a row. Defending champions trying to make the NCAAs for a second consecutive year. The miss by Brown, it's off the of bar, goes back to Valpo. Here's the zone. You have to attack the zone. You've got to get inside it, whether it be with the dribble or the pass. For Seekers, three. They have a nice rebound inside. Hey, that you use your legs to shoot three points. Yes, yes. At this point, maybe those legs are fine. 
Bradley. Henry puts it up. The lead is seven. The biggest for Bradley this afternoon has been eight. Henry has had a big game off the bench. Valparaiso has missed eight of their last nine shots. Approaching five to play. And now, Kaiser with Brown out. Because they were totally discombobulated on the offensive end. Percent of the time, so it's rare that they go to the zone. But the zone has been very effective for them here in this second half. Now they can afford to grind it out a little bit. Brown with the shot clock down to six. Dancing on Kaiser. Oh my. The biggest lead. For and Valparaiso comes the other way with nine field. With one field goal made in the last nine and a half minutes. Four and a half to go. Kaiser playing with torn ligaments in his ankle. Wears a boot after every game. In terrific pain. His three. Short. Rebound. Free the Liberty. Picked up by Childs. Now Brown. Free the living and inping back up the court. Timeout, Brown. Now that Valpo zone defense just turned everything around. Up high, they go! Henry! Just Sean Henry, one same, 14 points. Seven and nine shooting. He's got seven rebounds. He's been a big factor in Bradley's domination of the offensive boards here in the second half. That may have been it right there. Clay doubled, held foul. If you don't do that on the offensive end. Alperin's <laughs> always in gold. Bradley in white. Three and a half to go. Fazekas. He did not have a job. Nice deep. He goes back over like that. How about he got a fingertip on that one as well? Tabernanen with great defense on that same possession twice. And the Bradley faithful can feel it. Brown with 16. Well, you don't want to foul now. There's only 10 seconds left in the shot clock. Elijah Childs. 17 to run. Great execution by Bradley. Second. Freeman Liberty three. Kevin Allen. Brown. They go underneath. And digging it out with Freeman Liberty as they're going for Charles. Saki. The trailing Fazekas triple. No. Rebound Freeman Liberty. Corkscrews, Connell, and they beat UW Green Bay and the coach. Yes, three more liberty. Well, if you're going to foul, you've got to foul right away. Childs. Clay. Good line pass. They'll get a good drop. Donovan Clay. Zone, Kevin, when you really don't have any inside kind of players. The guys are three point shooters, mid range guys. Foul. And it goes on Kaiser from distance. And Bradley, Bradley just kept up the pressure. Okay. Bradley team, most scoring they've had on this program for 12 years, and it showed during this tournament with a drive. Again, as well, third leading score in the conference. Nine assists, one shy of his career high. Back in 2015 and 16, they've been there the last six or seven minutes of this game. Remember in the game they won earlier in the regular season against Bradley, they had 18 of them. Freeman Liberty three. Inside. Kevin Iron will grab the ball and is quickly fouled. Ed Zizekas got everything he has to give. Kevin Iron. It is a walk on Kevin. Yes, he sure did. He played his way into a key role. He had two offers, no Division I offers. 
worked his way to a scholarship with his play since. Freeman Liberty with a floater. Timeout. Since 2000, to win back to back conference tournament titles, being a fourth seed or worse, the last Michigan tournament. His amazing wife, Leisha, had the tough task of Trump fashion background. How do you do this? She goes, No, it's easy. He looks good in anything he wears. <laughs> well, she's not only a good coach's wife, she's a good wife. There's a shot. Oh, off the glass. Freeman Liberty put it down. 22 and 11 coming in. Finishing in the top five in offense and defense in the Missouri Valley Conference. Quickly it goes to Brown. Cannell. At the full court. Will Brown hit that by midcourt. And they'll set their offense. And a quick foul. Was it Clay or was it Gordon? Kevin, that's very similar to what they did last year. It is. When you get the points of the game like this, Dan, you think about seniors like Fazekas and Kaiser of the Crusaders, the time they put in, the practice hours, the work in the offseason, the college career will come to an end as Freeman Liberty was going up in a foul for Shooter. Basically, 52 seconds to go. And now, Freeman Liberty. Pick it up. Tavaninen was trying to get free and get that. So there's a lot of the, the Missouri Valley Conference. So Tavaninen from Helsinki, Finland, at the line, hit him. 63, no. Out of bounds, off of Childs of Bradley. So taking a look at it once again. Ken Mack is... Clay did it. Clay will pick. Hey, Kevin, I don't know what it was. Drake, the most he had had since late December. Daryl Brown, senior from Memphis. He'll be playing again another college game. Here comes Freeman Liberty. Oh, he got that to drop in. Other bills of his 29-point game last night. Look at him diving for the ball. Brown will collect it. With green foul, they can't catch it. Yeah, physique has finally got him with 30 seconds to go. Size on the inside, our ball is 6'11. Boy, but this is a good team. It goes three in the first half, and then just sort of orchestrated things on offense and defense in the second half. Rolling it out. One thing that Coach Rotnick told us that. Valparaiso he said you can't take moments like this for granted. I want our kids to savor it. Bradley had the same message too. Bradley is gonna go to a second consecutive NCAA tournament. champion. They've won six straight games in the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament, first time in school history, and they're going to the NCAA Tournament for a second consecutive season. The last time they did it back in the mid-50s when they went to the Final Four both seasons. And a terrific win. And champions for a second consecutive year of the Missouri Valley Conference. Kevin, it was a hard earned win. They were behind in the game. Valpo playing really, really well, but Bradley switched it up defensively, and they kept the pressure on on both ends of the court. For Dan Bonner, John Schriffen, and James Steratore, Kevin Harlan saying so long from St. Louis.